January 2nd, 2016. Day one of tracking for Great Is Our Sin. Got Ash here, tuning up some drums. What's up? Let's take a look-see. Well, first of all, we have a new drummer, so that's a huge difference. And not only that, but he lives across the continent. You know, he's in Vancouver, northwest, and we're in the northeast. Um, so it wasn't like we had, you know, we could just go into the practice space and, and jam at any point. So we had to kind of schedule our practice time, and I think that made us you know, really, really focused on making the most of our practice time. Uh, Ash is really good with recording everything. And instead of going into the jam space and like hashing out riffs, we would write them separately and then do pre production demos. And I would, you know, talk about the drums that the guys heard in their heads over the phone or on Skype and then just went to my practice space and sort of banged it out, recorded it with my own drum recording setup and sent them back my versions and then we would just sort of work from there. The thing I liked most about writing and the process of this record is that I had drum demos so at home I was able to you know craft my own mixes in the pre-production stage and kind of hear what was going on and I had just more time to sit in a private setting and work things out on my own. Um, even though we were separated across the country, I feel like it really made us work super hard to uh, just make sure that we had all our ducks in a row leading up to the uh, recording process. Okay, so ending riff, build up one, uh, twice, yeah. four blasts, four groove, and then halfway through the groove, it's faster double bass. Okay. <laughs> Deathless that helped shape this new record um, is our level of preparation that went into it and I also I think the aesthetic overall vibe of Deathless so um, we definitely went in uh, with the same amount of preparation uh, if not more so uh, for the recording of the new record and also trying to keep the general overall aesthetic you know, sort of similar so it's, it's a very dark record. We focus more on pre-production and everybody working on their parts at home and spending it a lot of, a lot of time with everything before we brought it into the room. Just in terms of songwriting, you know, we kind of learned from writing on Deathless. Deathless had a lot of really good variation in terms of the songwriting and in terms of the, the choruses and the aesthetic of each different song it had its own standalone quality to it, which I think is translating now into this record. Yeah, I would say we, we really trim the fat and uh, the songwriting is more concise but still progressive. was really sick and we wanted to go with him again. He had lots of really great suggestions the whole time. He was really helping me along with my drumming in that, you know, telling me when to try and play a little simpler or when to, you know, just let go and, and kind of go for it in terms of going for something maybe a little bit out of the box, you know. He's, he's a really good coach, as it were. Well, he's not afraid to tell us his opinion, which I really appreciate. Uh, to be honest, I kind of want to hear more of what he has to say. Personally, I work very well with Zeus because we bring in the bass ideas and then he, Dave, and I, we have, you know, 90% of them are concrete and then any little different changes that we want to make, I'm ready to go and then, you know, Zeus has an idea here and there or Dave would have an idea here and there or I'd have a different idea and it would be the three of us working together. So 
Zeus is a great team player when it comes to making a record and having to do any changes on the spot. He'll, he'll be like, man, it's fine. Don't worry about it. When I'm like, is that a good take? And he's like, yeah, don't worry. Or he'll tell us if it doesn't sound good. So, you know, he uh, it's good to have another set of ears, someone who's less biased than us because he's not in the band. So, you know, when we're recording, it's just good to hear what an outsider would have to say about the songs because no one has heard them except for us until Zeus gets to hear them. He really understands Revocation's sound, so I think he's he's put out some of the best records that the band has done up to date. This is our third record that we've done with him, and every time he wants to try to outdo himself from the last record, so even just through texts and emails while he was working on the mix and master, um, you know, he was just getting psyched up on trying to make this record sound even better than than Deathless. Um, so it's always great when someone comes to the project with that level of passion uh, to, to try and outdo themselves because we certainly try to outdo ourselves with every record. So it's great to hear because someone who has the same work ethic. It's a bit darker. There's some weirder chords, but still a good sense of melody. Dave's good at that. Uh, you know, my songs are a bit different from the ones I wrote last record. And uh, I don't know, it's got a different sound. It's kind of like Deathless, but evolved. I think every time you go through the process of writing and recording a record, every time it gets a little bit easier because you know what you want to achieve with that. So we all had a very, very clear goal uh, in mind going into the recording process. And uh, we all knew exactly the tools to, to use to get us to that, that goal. What makes this album different from Deathless is that it's a different content and everybody played a lot harder on this record and a lot faster in a way and a lot more interesting in a way. For me personally what makes a difference is the bass is more a little up front in the mix and brought out a bit more and I think Zeus did a good job of capturing at least uh, my sound. Uh, this record is probably our most diverse record to date I and mean, it's got our fastest song that we've ever recorded and it also has our slowest song so just in terms of tempo it's an incredibly um, diverse record. Uh, and then also some different dynamics and textures that we've played uh, around with on the record we haven't really explored before. Um, there's some different things that I've done as a vocalist on the, on the new record that I've never attempted before on a, on a recording and I think that brought a new element to our sound and of course you know, just instrumentally across the board everyone really tried to bring their A game. I think it's always good practice to throw the listeners a few curveballs. It's not to say you need to completely change your sound to do so, but, you know, this band is pretty good at branching out but still maintaining the focus of, of the sound that you're going for. It's still extreme metal. It's still, there's thrash songs, there's fast riffs, you know, there's trend picking, there's, you know, progressive elements like we always had, but we just kind of took that sound that Deathless had and kind of went in a darker direction. A little weirder, a little darker, but still melodic. It wasn't bad. One more. Ash is an incredible drummer. Um, he's got amazing technical ability, but he's also a very, very diverse drummer. Um, so I think there's there's certain textures that we've played with on this record that um, we haven't really explored before. Um, he plays with so much conviction um, in, in different styles, so bringing those elements out of Ash and into our music, uh, I think really is beneficial for our sound. That's ultimately the, the job of a, of, a, of a drummer, is to play a supportive role to elevate the music so really I listen to the riff first and what the riff is trying to accomplish and the overall aesthetic of the music and that's the thing that I try and adjust my playing to accordingly in order to you know, write the best song. Ash's drumming brings a lot of new things to the record well I mean first of all just listen to it and you can, you can decide yourself. Phil was an awesome drummer. We loved playing with him. He was great. Ash has a slightly different style. He's a bit, he came up on more like Frank Zappa and Rush and that type of stuff. So he's like, uh, kind of got some more prog 
then Phil had, um, Phil came up more with like, you know, thrash and like death metal and stuff like that, which Ash can really do. And I actually, when he was in Three Inches of Blood, we didn't know that he had chops like that because he was playing more like uh, heavy metal, but more like rock, and we're a bit more like extreme metal with blast beats and double bass and all that stuff. So when we first jammed with him, we kind of didn't know what to expect, but he blew us out of the water. Sin is the revocation record that fans of the band have been waiting for. Uh, I would say that revocation is evolving. Always departing, yet always arriving. It's the culmination of our history together and also the beginning of a new chapter. Alive! 